What's up guys, today we are talking about Nanite. A Nanite is a geometry system which uses a new type of mesh format, allowing the system to render a much higher object count than it would usually have been able to. So when should you use Nanite meshes? Well, as much as possible as your meshes will render faster. However, Nanite is limited to rigid meshes, meaning any deforming meshes such as an animated skeletal mesh, morph targets, spline meshes will not be able to use Nanite. So how do we enable it? Well, when importing a mesh, we can check the build Nanite setting. For turning a pre-existing mesh into Nanite, we can select all the meshes we want in our content folder, right click under Nanite, click enable. You can also do this in the details of the mesh once you've opened it. Okay, important details. Some material setups will not work with a mesh using Nanite. The main one is that the material blend mode must be set to opaque. I'm not sure if translucent materials will be added for the official release, but as of now, only opaque materials can be used. Here's a list of the other problem causes. If you don't know what any of these means, then you are most likely not using them. But these are either nodes or settings inside the material details. So just make sure you avoid them. One other thing I found when testing was that world aligned normal nodes do not work when working with normal maps. I'm unsure if this is a bug or not, as I couldn't find any documentation on the node, but if your normal apps are playing up, try removing this node. As for settings, there are two you can change inside the mesh details. They're called Position Precision and Proxy Triangle Percent. Now these settings are quite hard to get your head around, but all you need to know is that the default settings are completely fine for all your meshes. They quite literally do not need to be changed, but they can be changed for very specific reasons the majority of us won't ever use. For anyone who wants to read up on these settings, I'll leave a link in the description to the documentation on these settings. Last thing to mention is the visualization settings. In our viewport, by clicking Lit, Nanite Visualizers, and selecting one of the options, we can see all our different Nanite meshes in different filters. I won't go into detail on these modes, but they are used to inspect the data in the current scene. This can help the user find performance impacting things like Overdraw. Overdraw being a performance drawback when meshes are closely stacked together. Again, more information on performance reducing factors and visualization modes in the description link. And that is it for Nanoit guys. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and if you have any information you think I might have left out, it'd be great if you could post it in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Don't let you